just like, oh, this guy. Kind of <laughs> <laughs> Okay. All right, so female reproductive oh. system. Okay, we have here the ovaries, these little bean shaped structures here. The uterine horn comes after the ovary, and then you have the fallopian tubes, which are these squiggly structures. Then if you follow them down over here, you have the uterus. Now you see that the uterus is lying like this and it's lying behind the urethra. So how do I know it's the urethra? Because if you trace it up here, this is the bladder. Okay, so urethra and out of the body. So the bladder is connected to the ureter. Okay, you see how it's connected? And this seems to be what, uh, the, 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 the kidney on this side, right? No, no, no. The, the, the on the right, other right, side? It's the right side. Yeah. The left side will be cut out. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay, so the kidney would be here. Yeah. The other side. The yeah. Other. So he cut out one kidney. Yeah. And you can now look at the layers. So you have the outermost layer. So this is not colored so nicely. But the outermost layer here, the, the, the lighter area, is the renal cortex. Then you have this area, which is the renal medulla. medulla. And then this white is the renal pelvis. pelvis connected to the ureter. Okay. Now starting from the mouth. Okay. So we looked at the mouth. Now we cut through the sides so we can't see the muscle anymore. We can't look at the the um, salivary gland. Okay, let's look at the mouth. So you have here, what's this? The jaw was taken off. What's this? Epiglottis. The epiglottis. And this opening is the? Oh, the glottis. Oh, no. Glottis. Oh, sorry. Right, this is the larynx. Mm -hmm. It's going to go down the to the trachea, which then will branch to, to the, the bronchi. Bronch the two bronchi, then you have in your lungs already, you have the bronchioles and the alveoli. Okay, where gas exchange occurs. So if you look at okay, it would lie like this, but if you would put probe in this area you'll see the esophagus it's lying right underneath mm -hmm. the trachea mm -hmm. okay so food would then be swallowed down the esophagus mm -hmm. then to the stomach mm -hmm. right over here mm -hmm. this is the spleen mm -hmm. if you open this up more you'll see the pancreas mm -hmm. okay if you pinch the base of the stomach to where the small intestine connects, you'll feel the pyloric sphincter. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's that valve. Here you have the small intestine. You unfold them. Some pigs have this, they have this area like pink colored, okay? This area, are, this is where the capillaries are, the blood vessels, and they're getting the nutrients. This is where the diffusion of nutrients occurs. It's called the mesentery. And on this side, boiled like a snake, bless you, is the large intestine, which then will go down into the rectum. Okay, now the liver has three lobes. You have one, two, and three. Under the liver, you have a little sac called the it's right here. Some are green, some are just like this. Okay, it's kind of small. Where you have, yeah, where you would have the bile stored. Okay, um, this is the diaphragm, that muscle that allows you to breathe.
Up here you have the thyroid gland, and you have the, uh, the thy thymus on this side. This side, I don't know, but it's here, and it's also above, it was right here above the heart. Okay, any questions so far before we do the heart? Okay, so here is our heart. We have the right side and the left side. So we have the deoxygenated blood coming, the inferior vena cava, merging onto the right atrium, superior vena cava merging onto the right atrium. Then it goes down to the right ventricle. This ridge separates the right ventricle and the left ventricle. Okay, this ridge right from left. Then the deoxygenated blood comes out. This is the pulmonary trunk, which will then branch into two pulmonary arteries, taking blood to the lungs to get oxygenated. It comes back through the pulmonary vein to the right atrium, down to the right ventricle, uh, sorry, left atrium, down to the left ventricle, and then out through this, called the aortic arch, because it arches down, descending pathway, and then up to the ascending pathway. Okay, so because this is a fetal pig, you know, you can't uh, trust the blue and the red colors okay, that they inject because the fetal pig is not using its lungs yet. So you don't have what's happening in, 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 a, in, let's say, a newborn pig. Okay. Any questions? I think I went through everything.